Congratulations. So, how does it feel to be awarded by People Asia magazine? Well, una, I'm grateful to People Asia magazine and to those who participated in choosing a particular reward. And I, and I uh, you know, inaalay ko to sa mga tagalungsod ng Maynila. Because if not, uh, for the, uh, kundi dahil sa kanila, uh, I won't be here yeah. today. So, May awa ang Diyos. But uh, we just started. Uh, hopefully, the people will continue to participate and cooperate. It's a long journey or battle, if I may put that in right perspective, in reviving Manila. Mm -hmm. Maging malinis, maaliwalas, at panatag ang katayuan ng tao mm -hmm. sa lungsod. Mm -hmm. Habang sila'y naninirahan o dumadako man lamang mm -hmm. sa lungsod ng Manila. Of course, sure, may marami na kayong awards na natanggap, pero how special is this award galing sa People Asia Magazine? Uh, kasi People of the Year, eh, yeah. so I would assume <laughs> taong bayan ang namili. So, nakakatuwa uh -uh. uh, naman. Lahat ng awards binibigyan ko naman ng pahalaga. Mm -hmm. I'm just uh, grateful to the people who mm -hmm. participated in the People Asia Magazine uh, award giving body. Mm -hmm. I'm just happy. Mm -hmm. Actually, speechless. <laughs> <laughs> Sa tingin niyo, Yorme, ano yung mga qualities na nakita ng People Asia Magazine? Hindi ko alam eh. Hindi ko alam eh. Oh, I'm, not, I'm no special. I'm, uh -huh. I'm just trying to uh, do what is normal mm. uh, with regard to the field of undertakings yeah. na binigay sa akin ng tao. Uh -huh. So, doing the basic thing, uh -huh. and trying to excel from it. Yeah. May awa ang Diyos, eh, kalooban niya sana ako ng lakas ng pangangkatawan at malawak na kaisipan, mm. maunawaan ng lahat. Kasi, you know, governing is really complicated. You're yeah. dealing with different people, demographics, opinions, visions, ideas, and concepts. So, it's really a challenging task. But yeah. uh, I am grateful. I am yeah. grateful to, the, to God. I am grateful to the people of Manila. Yeah. Thank you, Yorme. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. Sir, how does it feel to be awarded by People Asia Magazine? You know, to be awarded is one thing, but to be awarded by People Asia Magazine, that's, uh, I, I guess, a feather on my cap, you know, because it's been 37 years since I entered the industry. And maybe if my, in my first four or five years, yeah, okay. Yeah. But on my 37th year, I'm, I'm acknowledged and um, I'm appreciated in a way, you know, for yeah. what, I've, what I've been doing makes me feel like, you know, indeed there is still so much more that I can do and offer my audience uh, in many different ways. Having said that, sir, despite your 37 years career, how does how special is this award for you, for an artist like you? I think it's one of the most special, really, because the awards are not like before. They, they, they are far and few in between. Um, I haven't been recording much, but I've been performing much. And I guess uh, People in Asia Magazine has seen beyond the music. And, and they, they have seen what else I do in order to stay relevant, in order to stay passionate. And, yeah. and uh, it's, it's one of the most special awards that I think any artist can be given at this point in time in their career. So you've mentioned the word relevant. How does it feel that up to this generation, you're still relevant to the younger, to the younger audience, to the millennials, to the gen, to the Gen, the gen Z. Yeah. Well, to the millennials, to the Gen Z, I was once their age, and I had wonderful people who spoke into my life. Yeah. And um, if I can do that through my music, then I, I shall continue. And in, in fact, I've been going to different universities, yeah. speaking to students like 100 per university. Yeah. Very intimate moments that I have with them, and it gets very personal at yeah. some point. But uh, and that's a nice. way of getting, giving back. Giving well. back, and it's it's a way of of, of uh, paying it forward, yeah. I guess. Because when I started out, my career started out with the student body. There was yeah. no social media at that time, yeah. so it's just my way of you know going back to them, reaching out and, and reaching in. You know, is yeah. what I what I think. It's, it's a face. It's called face to face. Yeah. So it's not like really a concert, but I hold the microphone, so yeah. I share my stories my journey, my music with them. Yeah. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much. Congratulations, Buck. Thank, Thank you, Buck.